estate planning for non-U.S. citizens or non-U.S. residents uh, or for people that might have a non-U.S. citizen spouse or a non-U.S. citizen beneficiaries. Uh, there are some very different rules that apply um, depending on the citizenship and residency status of yourself, of your spouse, and of other beneficiaries. For example, if you're domiciled in the United States, the exemption amount now allows uh, $5.34 million to be able to pass tax-free to other folks. But if you're not domiciled here, if you're a, if you're a non-resident uh, for tax purposes, if you're non-domiciled here, you're here on a visitor's visa or some other kind of, of non-immigrant visa and not domiciled in the U.S., instead of giving the $5.34 million that goes tax-free and which is indexed for inflation, you get 60000 that was set many, many years ago, has never been indexed for inflation. And so there's some significant planning that you will need to do. Another sort of critical and, and commonly assumed part of, of estate planning here in the United States is what we call the unlimited marital deduction. The general rule is anything you leave to a spouse is not subject to estate tax. Basically, estate tax will be deferred until the spouse dies. But that's only true if the spouse is a U.S. citizen. If your spouse is not a U.S. citizen, you don't qualify for the unlimited marital deduction. Now, if you're, if you're domiciled here, if you're a citizen, maybe that doesn't matter if, if your estate doesn't exceed the exemption amount. But if it does, and if the marital exemption is important to you, then there are some specific planning and specific provisions that need to be included in your trust to be able to get that marital deduction. It can be done through what we call a qualified domestic trust, but if you don't have that, you don't get the marital deduction and the family may be in for a, a big surprise. And then you need to want to take into consideration the residency and the citizenship of beneficiaries. Uh, where, well, do, do trusts make sense for them? What kind of tax scheme will they be a part of? Uh, and it may require a, a you know, large team of planners uh, here in the United States and in other jurisdictions to get the plan that works best for you.